Hello YouTube! My name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. So Flickstake is all about game streaming and cloud gaming and today we're here to take a look at a brand new game Warhammer Vermintide 2. It just came out yesterday and we're gonna show it being streamed from a cloud server on Paperspace to our computer here at home. So you're looking at the Paperspace computer right now. Um, we're using Parsec to handle the stream. So we're getting a really good streaming experience from the cloud. So if you think about it, you could technically be doing this yourself. You could stream it to a really low powered device and just use paper space to power the whole thing. And we're gonna basically test the game, see what it's like to play it in the cloud and see what the experience is like. And if we like the game, I think we will because I played a little bit of it and you know, spoiler, it's pretty good. So we're gonna jump right into the game and we'll play a little bit and see what we think. Now this is a very raw experience. I have not played it extensively. So I, I won't uh, pretend to be a pro gamer by any means, but it is a very fun game and I think you guys will enjoy this. Now we are playing with our trusty Xbox One controller and we do that because a lot of you when, you, when you think about cloud gaming, we think about portability, you know, being able to play on a laptop or on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet. So, you know, when you have those experiences, you might want to try to play on something like a controller just so that you can really play that anywhere you want. So that's what we're showing off today. And I'm really excited for this game. It's something I've looked forward to for quite a while. And I did not play much in the beta. I wanted to have a very raw experience when it came out. So we're gonna see what we think. Now, if you do like what you see in the video, look in the description below. So we're actually partnering with Green Man Gaming to offer you guys a really big discount on the game. So you can get it for 24% off by using the link that's in the description. So you're welcome to grab your own copy and play this as well. It looks like we're almost there. Now, the way that this is broken up is that um, if you use the controller, they give you a virtual mouse. So I'm actually moving my joystick to do this. I've been playing as the um, Waystalker is her name. And she's basically an elf. Um, she specializes in archery. So if you like archery, she's the best class. She actually gets a bonus with arrows. And uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. And when you start the game, you're basically um, going to start off in a common lobby. So this is the lobby for the game. It's actually a big castle, which is really cool. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit so that you guys can hear me. And uh, so the castle is kind of like your own little customized area for the game. And you can go and do a whole lot of things here. Let me see if I can go through this door because I think this is a cool area. Yeah, so you can go out here. Um, in the forge, you can customize your armor and you can rebuild things. And uh, just have a cool experience with that. And I haven't explored the whole castle yet, so I'm kind of doing this right now, just kind of seeing what's here. Because I think there's a practice area that I want to show you guys here in a moment. And if we can find the practice area, then you can actually kind of test your weapons and your builds on dummies. And this game, you know, the best way to describe the game is it's kind of like Left 4 Dead. So it's a co-op game where you team up with up to uh, three other real-time players, and you battle through a, a dungeon or a map and try to, you know, basically beat the whole thing. So I'm trying to figure out where the practice area was because I saw people playing this earlier. Oh, I think this is it. Here we go. Cool. So this is the courtyard. And yeah, there's practice dummies. Neat. So you can go up here and you can kind of experiment with your weapons and see what kind of damage you're doing. So it looks like my, my blades that I'm using right now can do about 4 damage. And if I switch to my bow, looks like we're doing about 12 damage to the head. Eight. Now, if I don't do a full draw, I'm doing about 5.5 .5 from there. So this is a really cool area, and I saw some other people uh, kind of demoing this with, uh, you know, on other videos, and I wanted to take a look. It looks like it really doesn't have a whole lot of, of drop with the arrows. Now, from what I've seen, you know, because this is not the only class that can use a bow, so other classes can use a bow, but they don't have the same, like, lack of uh, arrow drop that we do. So you basically get like where you shoot is where it ends up. And you can shoot really quick. So my build is, uh, let's see if I can. So my build is uh, I've got these abilities enabled. So this ability allows me to regen health over time when I'm below half health. And then I can shoot a volley of arrows as my special ability. And that's pretty cool. So we're good there. And uh, you can unlock different types of this character, like different builds. So this is the starting build. 
Um, this one has a, a completely different play style and this one is what you end up with and you unlock those over time. So we'll go ahead and return to the game. And you can see, I mean, this is pretty impressive. Let's look at the special ability. So this is holding down left and right shoulder buttons. So we'll kind of line up here. And uh, that was neat. Oh, we're going to click off of that. See, the server wanted us to upgrade. We're not going to update right now because we're playing a game. <laughs> Bad timing. All right, so what is this? Talents. So let's take a look. So this is where you can kind of pick things out. So this is the equipment that we're using, which is really cool. Um, I'm using a dagger paired with a sword. And I could choose a spear, which we might experiment with later. I could go with dual swords or a single sword. And I've got other variations of the sword and dagger, it looks like. Um, this is my most powerful option, so I'm going to you know, basically go with that for right now. And then under bows... Now I do have a bow that does a lot more damage, but it's a long bow and it shoots a lot slower. So uh, I'm not sure. We might experiment with that in a minute. So this is the swift bow. This is what we have equipped right now. And I've also picked up a crossbow, but I need to be um, a different class. So that's like my upgraded class. So I could potentially use that later. And these are just older versions of the same bows. Now I've played with this before and I like the speed of the bow. So it's got rapid fire. Um, it has good headshot damage, but it doesn't do any piercing, so it looks like this has some piercing. So we'll, we'll try this, because I haven't played with this bow yet. And then you also have trinkets, you have um, charms, and then you've got other trinkets. So what, what is this? Wait a minute. Maybe I said that wrong. Necklace, and these are trinkets. And this trinket just gives me a little bit of extra power. Looks like these do the same. But I know that you can pick up things that actually enhance your abilities down the road. Now for talents, um, I don't have any other talents that I can try yet because this game just came out I haven't really played it enough. So it looks like I unlocked some of this at level 5. And cosmetics, I don't have any other cosmetics unlocked yet either. So it looks like you can customize your hood, um, your hero skin, and an extra slot. What does that do? Frames. Okay. Cool. So let's head back into the main building. So this is a cool area. If you get new weapons and you kind of want to test them out, then this is a great place to come and just kind of see what kind of damage you're really outputting and how much you've improved with what you chose. And we're going to jump right into a match. So when you go into the mission window, you can join other players or host. I'm actually going to host, and the reason that I'm doing that is that I want to be able to pick a mission and start off at the very beginning of the mission and I want to be able to play with this character so if you go into an existing game you might get dumped into a round that's already you know near the end or halfway done and uh, you might have trouble because your character might already be taken so we're going to choose a mission um, we'll start with the very first one which is righteous stand and we'll select that and then difficulty we can leave on recruit we're already selected to host the game we'll just hit play and uh, right now we're basically just waiting for other players to join us. Once we once they do, we can head over into this bubble right here. And once all four of us are in the bubble, then the match will start. So we're just waiting for other people to jump in. And it looks like it's not going to take very long. You know, the game just came out. It's very popular. So we shouldn't have any trouble getting a group together here. I mean, last night um, I played a round where people were in literally within probably two seconds of hitting go. And this is just a really neat idea. I, I like this as a lobby. So there's a couple. Yeah, it looks like all three of us are here. So let's jump right in. And each character is very unique. Um, some are tanky. Um, the mage is really badass with her uh, staff and magic. And there's a cool story behind this as well. So we're not going to dig too far into the story during this video. But when you do get your own copy of the game, I'd encourage you to pay attention to it. Um, also, there's a tutorial that you do when you first fire up the game. I would encourage you to do that tutorial so that you learn the controls and the moves. Um, even if you played the original Vermintide, some of the mechanics are a little bit different here. So you definitely want to pay attention and, and see what's different. Um, one thing that's different is that there's a dodge ability now. So you can dodge back and forth, and that's pretty cool. So it gives you an extra way to get out of trouble. And uh, so we did pick the longbow because it's, I think it's arrow piercing because it said shield breaking. 
Now, I don't know if that's the equivalent of arrow piercing, but that would be nice. And it says sniper, so if we zoom in, I don't know what makes this a sniper versus something else. And we may ultimately want to go back to our original weapon, we'll see. I've got a couple headshots on this dude. Chaos warriors lumbering around. Up oh, over here, Mayflies. Now I'm not as strong as these tanky characters, so I have to be very careful about how close I get to these guys. Now I will use my tanking, you know, I will use my melee attack if I need to. Man, I'm almost that guy took a lot of arrows. So if we look at him. See, I got him, I got him in the head a couple times. So that's cool. And where are we going? Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Oh. Alright, I think we're going to have to melee a little bit. Now, something else that's a little bit different about this game compared to the first game, and it may not look like it here, but you have to be really careful about um, blocking and dodging. So, like, dodging is holding left shoulder and scooting with your A button. And uh, you, you definitely want to use those abilities because a lot of these characters are a lot beefier than they were in the first game. And uh, if you don't dodge or block, if you just go in there and just start fighting, then you're going to get wiped. And you're going to get wiped frequently, so they kind of stepped up the intelligence level of the AI in a really good way. So there's still grunt characters, like some of those that you just saw swarming, you know, would be classified as a grunt. But some of these characters are really hard, and they're really heavily powered and armored. So you have to be a little more strategic with your battling, with your uh, with how you approach things. What is that? That's better. Oh, okay, that's just health, I think. So we definitely want to keep an eye out for any ammo caches. So those are really relevant to us because this character is best when she uses her bow. So that's her strength. It looks like there's an ammo cache right there, actually. Oh, we, we need to get away, get away, get away. What is in that box? Ammo, please, please, yes. So if he leaves us alone, we can just sit here and just pound him. Now I'm not sure what the ideal position is to uh, hit him. I think it's in the back, possibly. So we'll use our special ability there. Now, it kind of looks like there's something controlling him on the back. Alright, we want to be able to get an angle on him. Alright, he's going way up top. Oh, what's behind me? A silent spell is welcome I'm trying to hit that thing on its back, because I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with the damage that he can take. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. See, we got kind of far from our group now too, so that's not great. Alright, let's see if we can escape. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, they're going to help us. See, and that's another aspect of this game that you have to pay attention to. So I took a little bit of a risk by hanging back and uh, trying to just focus on the archery side of it. And I did a decent amount of damage to this guy. I know I did. But um, we ended up getting separated from the group to an extent. So when we got swarmed, that was a bad thing. 
So you know, moving forward, we want to pay attention. Now, in terms of streaming, just to take a moment to kind of go back and talk about the whole subject of this video, the streaming side of this game is uh, looking really good so far. There is no defiance left within these walls. Only right, anybody else that I can shoot before I drop down into the danger zone? There's something. So he took four shots. Now we want to catch up with the group again. No, not yet. Okay. So one little uh, advantage. What was that? Why did she do that? Pretty sure she fired that by accident. So it looks like we have an encounter right here. Now one, so you definitely want to finish the map. So if you don't finish the map, you'll still earn, you're, you're going to earn XP for the things that you did during the match, but you're not going to earn any new loot. So you actually have to finish the round to earn any loot. So if you don't finish the round, then no loot for you. And that's a big part of the game, so the loot plays us- Oh my goodness, where am I? I don't know how to get out of this. Okay, so I'm out of it now. That really hurt me though. Oh my goodness, that thing just keeps sneaking up on me. See, these are new mechanics that I'm just not familiar with. Alright, so we're gonna take a healing drop real quick. And we're going to see if we can save our bud. Oh, we're going to cut. I'm trying to back up, and I can't. That thing's just sucking me in. Okay. So let's see if we can revive our friend. It really uh, hurts the team a lot when one of you goes down. I think that was a wizard character. All right, we survived that somehow. <laughs> I don't know. And my health got hurt pretty badly in that encounter. So that whirlwind thing, I don't know what that was. Oh, thank God for ammo. I really need some health though. So in terms of the bow, I don't know how I feel about this bow yet. So the other one fires a lot more rapidly, so like I said, it kind of focuses on crowd control and rapid fire. And this one fires more slowly and I don't get as many arrows with this one. And I'm not sure that I notice a huge output in the damage, so like the armor piercing aspect of it that they talked about. So I might end up going back to the, the other style, I think I liked it better. I think I might have gotten the final blow on that one. This is cool. Now, I, I haven't actually played this map yet. I, I, I sort of did. So I, I got in at the very end of this match before. There's a really cool uh, major encounter at the very end. So I got to participate in that. But I haven't played through the entire thing from the beginning yet. And that was something I wanted to do. And Warhammer is kind of a unique subject because... You know, you have the typical me medieval stuff that you see here, but... Jesus, how many times you gotta stab a dude? Oh, I'm getting separated again, I think. Right, where's my buds? Black 
I really need help. So one nice perk, and you'll see that on my health bar, is that when I'm below 50% health, I start regenerating a little bit. And that really saved me. Who's going to save it? See, if I had saved her, we'd both be dead. Hung back and took care of the enemy. Anyway, from a uh, streaming perspective, this is feeling great. So, the server itself, you can tell, is really nice. There's not a whole lot of compression on the screen. I've actually got it set on highest definition in Parsec settings. And it's running on that really well. So, that's looking really good. I mean, there's a little bit of compression, but, I mean, really nothing serious. Yeah, I'm just going to follow this dude. Hopefully somebody knows where they're going more than I do. I hear something. I don't know that this dude knows where we're going. I don't think... Okay. I hear the pale queen. All right, we did good there. Our work's not done, Sienna. Did good again. I mean, anytime we can revive somebody, we get we get some experience points for it. All right, whatever that. Oh, that gas thing messed me up. All right, come on, guys. It's my turn to be saved. All right, let's get out of the gas. Anytime that we can, we want to use our bow. That is our specialty. Do you know where we're going? You know how Britonia fares. It's knights fight among themselves. They quarrel over which undead king the should rule. So we're looking to see if we can find any health. It wouldn't hurt to get an ammo refill as well. So we're looking for resources. There's health. There's health. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm actually going to use it right now. Okay. I'll admit it. I'm in Oh, I'm like looking around for enemies. So that's this is kind of an example of what I was talking about before. So my character, you know, I have a melee weapon, but it's not my strength, so it doesn't go through armor. Anytime I come up against an armored opponent, it's going to take more hits from my dagger and my sword to do, you know, significant damage than it will for some of these other characters. Like this guy in front of me has a fairly heavy sword and shield, and uh, he's really more equipped for that. So I, I play... I wouldn't say like a supporting role necessarily, but it's kind of that way. I mean, that's sort of what I mean. All right, we gotta be careful. Oh, you're red. You're wearing red, which makes you look bad. I'm glad there's not friendly fire in this game, or I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to continue along the wall. But I really like archery, so, I mean, you'll find as you watch my channel that any time that I can be an archer in a game, I'm generally going to choose that. Chop between your legs. What was that? I spy a potion. A potion? Where? Spy me some ammo. I really appreciate being able to shoot from the hip. Hi, I'm here, here for you. But you owe me now. I hear a gun right. Okay, so we're going up here. My quiver's dry. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's not great. Hey, 
I'm listening. I'm like, where's the ammo? Oh. I am not equipped to kill the gun guy. Unless I get close. Okay. Wish I could pick up his gun. That'd be nice. That would be too easy there, right? Too easy. Uh, too, too many ways to get overpowered. Now, I took care of that uh, armored one pretty well there. Still no ammo, guys? Nowhere? Nowhere? That's really strange. I haven't... Oh, no. That sounds serious. I sense a blue bit here. Now, I'm awesome at taking care of these little guys. No problem with that. He's blocking me like crazy. Okay, got him. All right, we supposed to jump down? So it looks like our goal is to get way over there. And yeah, I guess we're jumping down. Everybody else is. And I'm assuming that somebody in our group has probably played through this map before and knows where we're supposed to go and, and do and stuff like that. I'm getting up here. Where is your god now, one eye? See, my my elf kind of sounds like she's Scottish. Is kind of the the feeling I get from her voice, which is fine. Now, in terms of settings, you know, just so you get a kind of a feel for how paper space is operating, we're playing mostly on high settings. You know, we're not really turning a whole lot off. And uh, I think it looks really good, personally. The game is beautiful. Um, the stream looks really good. Alright, what's going on here? The gate still stands, but the wall has fallen. Looks like we gotta go through this opening over here. See, I kind of wish this was a live stream so I could tell you guys to look out for ammo caches that I might miss. Looking for the secrets. This is the door. And uh, I've considered doing live streaming. Um, we may add that at some point. Just uh, waiting for an opportunity to kind of do this on a more consistent schedule. So right now, for the for the stream and and just you know in terms of like working together with the community, it's working best if I can make videos as I have the time. So you know when you stream, you have to be there when people you know on a schedule that people can depend on. And it's not something that's easy for me to do right now. So I'm, I'm thankful that I've been able to largely make these videos, you know, on a schedule for you. You know, get them out pretty regularly, but I don't want to commit to a certain time and then have something come up. Yeah, how do I... Alright, we got ammo. Oh, we got some down here too. There's ammo. Why the hell would they have like ammo in like eight different places down here, but nowhere else? I mean, think of how far I had to go to get ammo when I needed it. Oh, that's not great. Oh, what the hell? I thought I was in a safe place. I was not in a safe place. Get me away from all that. Alright, where's that ammo cache again? See, I love doing battle near the ammo cache because you can just... Yeah, take it's care of what here. you need to, and <laughs> that was fun. I took care of him for you, dude. 
I don't know what you were doing. What we got going on? Well, 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 this is the right door. Save and slaver. I had to take a couple shots to kill that thing. Just for good measure. Let's see if I can hit him from back here. Oh, I see him. I, I got you, dude. It's a very pretty game. And the the banter between the characters is really cool. If I mean, they have a really cool AI system just in general running this game. That was a nice pile. I've got 12 arrows left, gotta be careful. Now the horn usually means we're about to get overrun. And that would be true. Oh, that's our fire, we're good. I think it's our fire, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Scored. So I got health and I got ammo, which is really nice. I appreciate it. Oh! I didn't see that guy. So the symbol, I think, when you shoot, tells you that you're shot in the armor or something. Oh, he's coming for me. He doesn't like me. Or maybe I'm just annoying. Oh, we're getting pinned down. I think I got him. Gotta get out of this stuff, though. Oh. See, that's, that's some really effective poison. I don't like that. Thanks, dude. Needed that. What, what do we got? We good? We good? We are good. Backstabber, did you see it? The assassin meets a deserved death. Which shot mate? Alright, so this is the final encounter. And this is where, you know, I've played this to an extent. So this is where I jumped in the game last time. So we basically go in here, ring a bell. And then we gotta fend off waves of enemies. I believe they start crawling down the walls over here. So, good opportunity to use our bows. And hopefully we don't die. You know, we should probably take our health while we can. Our health is really low. There they come.
Oh, ouch. That thing targeted me. still be in there. I think I'm out of ammo again. He was the rat. Did we do it? Is that it? More? No, there's more. We haven't died yet in this section, which is nice. Now watch me jinx myself. Our health is not the greatest. Oh, thank you, mage. Oh, I think we jinxed ourselves. Jinxed ourselves. Oh, no. Really need health. Really need health. Now, my health is supposed to regen when I get to this level. I use my special ability on that thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, it's sucking my life. Oh, there I go. Still really low on health. I think I'm about to go down again. There's not really a sprinting mechanic in this game, so you can't like jet away. Oh, unless, yeah. I'm just kind of testing the dodging just a bit. Oh, I think we're good, guys. We did it. That's awesome. Look how little my health is. Almost didn't make it. So that's that's it for this map. Go into the bubble. And we get to see what kind of loot we got. That's fun, man. I hope you, you guys are getting the same impression of this game that I am. It's really fun. It's really cool. Um, you know, the gameplay mechanics, you know, in terms of like a medieval FPS are just really awesome. So I'm level 4. So when I get to level 5, I unlock some other stuff. Now when you unlock weapons, you don't automatically get them. You still have to be awarded them in a chest. And as far as I can tell, I don't think this is a loot box You know, in the same vein as Battlefront 2 is going to be. Um, I don't think you can actually buy the loot boxes outside of just earning them. So you have to earn them to get that. Cool. So what we'll do, we're going to go back to the to our lobby. We're going to open up. So look, I got the most kills, uh, did the most damage, most damage to bosses, and most revives. So we're going to return back to the keep. We're going to open up our loot boxes, see what we get, and uh, that'll be it for the video, I think. But hopefully you guys like this game as much as I am enjoying it. And uh, it's really fun. And like I said, you can jump on the link that's in the description and grab your own copy of this game and get 24% off through our friends over at Green Man Gaming. It's the lowest possible price that you can find it for online. So take advantage of that deal. Alright, so we got a pretty sweet longbow. Uh, I think green is a rare. And we got a charm. And we got dual swords that are a little bit better than the other dual swords that we had. And then one more chest. Now I will say this, I'm not a huge fan of the mouse cursor system. 
The original game didn't have that, um, so we got a ring. A key. And what is that? See, that makes it look like you get bonus treasure. So that's a really decent necklace compared to what I have. So that's awesome. All right, so we're going to close that. We're going to leave this lobby. Disband. And that should just return us back to our personal lobby without everybody in it. So overall, really cool game. We have new items in our inventory. We'll, we'll get those later. And uh, it looks like parts of the keep unlock as you play and level up. So there's probably even more things to look at and more things to enjoy later on. So let me know what you think. You know, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about the game itself? How do you feel about how it streams? So you know, the streaming quality, and uh, I can tell you because you can't really measure latency, but the input latency feels very, very low, which is something that's special about Parsec, and you know, just kind of speaks to how good that product is. So we're gonna go ahead and exit here. And I do have a couple things to talk about really quickly before we completely finish. So one thing that you'll notice is if you look behind me, right about there, there's a shelf on the wall. And we talked about this a little bit in a previous video. That's actually a community shelf. So what we're looking for here is that it's an opportunity for you guys to have your stuff featured on Flickstick. So if you have a cool gaming related item that you want to send to Flickstick in the mail, go ahead and send it to us. You'll see our PO box listed in the description. And uh, if you send something, you'll get full credit for it. We'll show it on our videos. It'll be in our background when we do other videos. It'll be on that shelf. So it's just a really cool way to interact with you guys and for you to interact with us here at Flickstick. So feel free to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, and again, get your own copy of Vermintide 2. Let me know what you think when you play it. Um, you know, leave me comments in the description. Let me know how you know what you think about paper space and parsec now if you don't already have your own paper space server you'll find a link in the description to get a free ten dollar credit towards paper space that you can use to get your own server so that's enough money to set up the server for free and have a few hours of free gameplay on top so take a look for that link in the description as well and until next time you guys have a good one